All right, first stop for today is La Jolla. That's, I'm finally pronouncing that properly, and it's a richy rich neighborhood. Extreme exorbitant amounts of wealth here, but also sea lions, so we're gonna go check it out. So I thought to myself, hey babe, how's about we go slow? At least inside it seems I'm terrified of this road. Oh, but outside already it's all sinking in. Caught up in a landslide, but I don't want to be friends. I wish it could be cooler, calm, collected and chill. Maybe then I'd get a chance to see all the different sides of you. Shine out in blossom. Checking out the cave store which uh, is a store, but also is access to the only underwater cave you can access uh, from street level without a boat. So we're gonna go check it out. Ooh, some water here, be careful. I really don't fit in here. Uh, I would not make a good 18th century miner. Stretching out to the edge, grown wild, beautiful and surreal. Say, far as I, I can see the boat is on crazy. The way that I feel now, it's holding me down. All right, we came back to Fiesta Park, actually just outside Mission Bay area. We're just gonna make some lunch, or chicken, with a little bit of chorizo and onions, just to season it all up. And then we're gonna do some like street soft taco kind of vibe. And uh, really we're just here because Sarah's leaving today and uh, it's a good opportunity to relax a little bit, soak in the sun and enjoy the heat before she takes off back to Canada and freezes to death. It's been nice knowing her. Maybe she should just get a van and drive my lifestyle. It's, it's a lot more comfortable. Hope this goes according to plan. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's almost end of the Sarah chapter of the vlogs. She's leaving very, very soon. We're just gonna cap off today's fantastically relaxed episode by grabbing another snack and, uh, you know, maybe recapping a little bit about the hashtag van life. Dookie, and it's getting longer. Uh, what is this one? Mm. Very maple -y. Oh my god. It's a Simon Size Donut. So, we're celebrating Sarah's last couple days in America with the most American thing. So, like, in Canada, you can only get donuts basically at Tim Hortons or a fancy hipster donut shop. Like, that's it. Pretty much. And we have apple fritters, but they're about half the size of this. This is glorious. 
We have old fashions, but they don't taste as good as this. And that's crispy. Like the donuts are crispier. Mm -hmm. Well, Americans basically invented the donut. Huh? The Canadians just have their interpretation of it. Yeah, it's, basically it's called Beaver Tail. Which is basically dictated by like Tim Hortons, one company. I don't trust that. Wow. It's like a pizza. You're eating like a donut pizza. Okay. I really am capping off. An entire adventure that has been very bad for my stomach and waistline. I'll eat nothing but cucumbers all day long. Hey, we had salad today. Yeah, it's smothered in chicken and chorizo and rat legs. Ah. Yeah. Yolo. Surprisingly easiest thing in the bad life for you. Easiest thing? But that surprised you. It was a lot easier than I thought. In the sense that sleeping was super easy. I slept like a baby. Mm -hmm. But I'm a pretty easy sleeper, so that's not... That yeah, surprised me though when I started. Yeah. How easy it was to sleep. What was the hardest thing? Probably the showering. Yeah. Because out of um, everyone in my family, I'm probably the neat freak, I would say. Yeah. Like, I change my pillowcases every three days. I like to be clean, extra clean. I'm like almost neurotic about it, which is part of the reason actually I thought it would be good for me to come and stay almost, with you in the mid. Almost neurotic, guys, not fully neurotic. <laughs> almost, though. Borderline, like I haven't been diagnosed, but. Um, but also I actually thought it would be good for me to like explore the whole van life alternative, because I don't know. YouTube fans don't know this, but Simon and I are probably as different as siblings could be. We're really, really different. We're very similar in a lot of ways, but we're also super different. So I think it's good. Like we spend time with each other and we kind of challenge each other. And um, we introduce oh each, God, other each other to every once in a while, but usually we're okay. Um, but we introduce each other to like these parts of our lives that you know, we wouldn't have never gone to had it not been for the other person. So, I don't know, it was good. It was good for me to kind of let go of the neat freakness. My hair is really gross right now. I don't have makeup on and I would like to. But um, yeah, no, it was good. It's tough being away from, uh, from my fam, other fam, and my cat. Other than that, it's been pretty easy. The weather was a bit tough when we first got there. It was cold. Colder than we were expecting, right? It's coming from Canada. Well, I mean, I was expecting... I brought, like, two bathing suits. And I was still wearing my jacket. Like a light jacket. But it's been super nice. And now it's, like, really tough to go back. And uh, I'm going to be sad to fly home. I'd say the surprisingly easiest thing with Sarah is probably how she, like, almost never wanted to go shopping and you were actually down to like adventure and stuff. You were afraid of heights and you're afraid of the dog like doing his thing. There's some like tough bits in there, but like for the most part, you were like way more down with the Baja adventure, down with the California adventure than I thought you'd be. Oh. So congrats. Well, and uh, some credits there. You know, the hardest thing, I don't know. The hardest thing is like, you challenge me, you know, you really do. Um, Sam and I agree on most things, but Sarah and I don't, often. And um, it's good to have people like that in your life. Hey, we're not talking about like fundamental, like core values. And no, stuff. but like, like I've been- We don't differ on that stuff. But, it's just hey, like lifestyle stuff that we differ on. We just argued about whether the dog should be on a leash or not. You know, like little things, but it was also like yeah, reminding friend. me because when you live on your own and you're living this van life, there's a visit very big tendency to like live in this little echo chamber that like reciprocates your own little way you think and it's good to have people that don't think necessarily exactly as you do to like come into your life and push you to like see outside of your own little box because as cool as my life is and as much as I get to see I do have a tendency of ignoring things I don't agree with and uh, I have a tendency to just you know, isolate myself. So it's nice to uh, to get back out in the world a little bit, see it all again. You're gonna, gonna miss me? You. Yeah, I'm gonna miss you. Like not right away. Maybe like a few days. I'll miss You'll you. You'll be having to have your own bed back. Yeah. <laughs>
And maybe Champ will come snuggle you now that I'll be done. Yeah, yeah in like two or three days. <laughs> He'll be mid morning. When he's lonely again. <laughs> we all know I'm the favorite. Let's just get serious. I'm the one who brought him into the family. Oh my god, you're never gonna let that go. Rings from the that easy so why would it be this time said i'm shaking but strong enough to break my own bones or bury the light stuff it's too heavy i know but i'm so in love my head all right say goodbye to champ i can't champ she's leaving forever not forever don't say that Champ, he doesn't mean it. He's such a jerk. Now you've gone and made him upset. He's panting. You see this? Champ, are you upset? He's upset. He's devastated. I know, I know. I'm devastated too.